It was a day of long queues and important decisions. 16 candidates are vying for the presidency. For the most part, Wednesday's vote went smoothly. But at this center in Freetown, confusion reigned. Voters complained about the slow process. But the country's electoral commission was keen to address that. That's the municipality of Bond in the southern province. Uh, because of printing errors, we didn't get the ballot papers for the mayoral candidates, right, the mayoral elections. So we're postponing those elections, we can't wait, we're postponing them. The country had over one million new voters on the register. Most of them were born after Sierra Leone's civil war, and many are keen to see change. Abed Nshikau is 20 years old and has voted for the first time. Well, like, there is no good educational system in our country. Like, it's not too strong compared to other countries like Ghana and some other countries, but at least we are trying. And I just need the newly elected president to work more on educational facility for us, the child, for us children. Unemployment is also an issue among the youth. So is security. We teach them how to vote and they tell them why they should vote, why they should not be influenced by mother, why they should not be influenced by father, why they should not be influenced by party, why they should not be influenced by peer. They should vote for the right they think they believe because they are 18. It was an election of first. Sierra Leone has never held a vote without United Nations support. Yeah, okay. So this election is critical in showcasing the country's democratic processes. Despite several challenges, Sierra Leoneans have voted and now they are waiting for the vote counting process to be completed. The winner will only be announced once all the votes are in. According to the electoral body, this should be within a week. Susan Mongeli, CGTN, in Freetown, Sierra Leone.